Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to apply some Color Street nail strips. So if you are not familiar with Color Street, these are 100% nail polish strips and they go on with little to no tools and I will show you that in a few minutes and you can remove them with regular nail polish. So today we are going to put on Bloody Gorgeous. I'm not sure if you can see, it's a little bit of ombre-ish with some red and some sparkles and then it kind of gets a little deeper as it goes towards the back of your nail. And um, yeah, it's a little Valentine-y like nail strip. So let's get started. Let me show you what is inside the pack. All right, so first thing is first is you will get 16. There is actually two strips of this. 16 um, strips, which you can do quite a bit with. Um, you can use one strip per nail, and I'll show you that in just a minute. You could use this for a manicure and a pedicure. I think you might be able to get two manicures and a pedicure out of this. It's all about um, how big your nails are and how creative you get with the placement. So, let me show you what else is in here. You will also get a um, alcohol swab or alcohol wipe. And then you will get a cute little uh, nail file. And they'll have lots of different designs. So let's open this here. It usually has a little thingy jingy. Of course, I would get one that doesn't have it. Oh, there we go. Okay, I should. I will also say this to you before I forget that these can be resealed because um, obviously I'm not going to use 16 strips. Um, so you can reseal this. The what I do is I use what I need and I put this back in, and I will use my flat iron and flat iron it right here for just a couple of seconds, and it's good to go. Now that is not a guaranteed um, way of keeping them fresh. However, I have known of. Um, a couple of people who've had them for over a year like that and they open them up to put on a new set and they were fine. So totally worth a shot because unless you have another person that's going to share this with you, you, you want to save it for the next time. So, all right. So now you've got a lot of these here. So like this one would be for like your big toe. It's not big enough for my thumb. That's a weird angle, isn't it? So I typically know which goes which. You also want to start off using um, with your pinky and work your way to your thumb because your thumbs are going to be part of your tools. Okay, so you can use those. And then I also do like to use these. These are not required. I like to use this cuticle pusher. And I use that on my nail after I get it on and really kind of rub it on there. And then I also like to use um, this orange stick it can really you can either use the pointy this really pointy side or the slanted side you can really get in there to help get the polish strip off of the excess off so all right so here we go we're going to start with the pinky um oh i'm going to prep my fingers first very important so you'll get this what you want to do so i had a i had a whole set on yesterday i took them off um, and I clean my hands and I got my fingernails to where I wanted them to be for today. And I let them rest overnight. I'd had a set on since December. So I kind of, you know, had a set, put a set on. So I wanted to give them just like a, a night to set, just, you know, just to rest for a little bit. Um, and then what I will typically do is I will wash my hands very good. Um, sometimes I will use Dawn detergent to get the grease off. And then you do want to use this wipe. And you're gonna wipe your, right on your nail beds there. And then you also want to wipe your fingertips because you are going to be touching that strip. So you don't want any oils on there. And also, um, I'm not sure if I said this, you do wanna make sure that your cuticles are pushed back and prepped because you don't want the strip to touch the cuticles. You're gonna get it as close as you can to your cuticles. But obviously you don't want them to touch the cuticles because then they can um, pull and then you'll just end up peeling them off and that won't be good. 
All right, let me get this camera angle downwards and you guys can see more of what I'm gonna do here. Okay, so I've got my strips. So like I said, I typically know which, which fits which. Now some of these do have um, ends that are different. So like this pinky end, it's narrower, more narrow up here than it is down here to fit, you know, to kind of try to fit your finger. Um, so, but I do know that that pinky does not fit. So I have to go to the next one here. And I know that this will fit right here. So first thing first, there are a couple layers here. So you want to get off this piece of clear plastic first. So there's a clear piece. So you're gonna go ahead and get rid of that. And then there's another piece here that you're going to take off. And you're gonna get rid of the backing. And now you can take off this little edge. Sometimes you get a piece here, I'm not sure if you guys can see it, where it kind of sticks up, it's from pulling that off. I just kind of pat it down if I know I'm gonna use it for the other finger. And it seems to be fine so the edge doesn't show. So now I'm going to get this ready here. I have this kind of in the middle of my finger and I'm going to get it placed on my pinky. Now, something to know is that these are pretty forgiving until you start pressing them down. So if you don't think it's set in the right spot, you can pick it back up and reset it. Now, once you have it where you want it, you're gonna rub it back and forth towards the edge, give it a, just a little bit of a tug to stretch it out there on your nail. And this is where I bring in this tool here. And keep in mind, so the top part is 100% dry. It's the bottom part that's not dry. But, so there is gonna be just a slight period of drying time. You do not want to apply lotion after this and you do not want to wash your hands for at least 30 minutes. I try to go as long as an hour just to ensure so that nothing starts coming off peeling or anything like that. So then I just really get it on the edge here. And here is where your thumbnail is going to have come in. You're going to take this underneath here and you're going to use your thumbnail to sort of kind of cut into that. And then that comes right off like that. So now it is a little bit funky. I'm going to leave that for now. What I'm going to do, like I said, it takes a little bit to um, dry. They do say that the best time to put these on is like right before you go to bed. And then you can just leave it like this, go to bed and in the morning, give it a file so that that's completely dried. However, I have not had the patience yet to do that. So I do try to let it dry just while I'm applying my other nails, if that makes sense. Okay, so we got that finger done. So let's go on to the ring finger, which I believe is this one. So here we go again, get that clear piece and get rid of that. And then get rid of this little piece here. And make sure to line that up. Now I do have to say, this is how I put them on. This is not how everybody puts them on. Some people will put them on and basically use this whole strip and kind of, I, I, in a sense, I feel like it's wasted, but um, that's just my opinion. Because what they will do is they'll kind of like pinch this together and then file it off. But this is much more cost-effective and you get so many more 
sets out of the one pack, which everybody wants that, right? Now see in here, I'm not sure if I, you can use this orange stick, this flat part works really good to get in here to either push it in down there or it helps to cut it too. If it was too big for my skin over here in this area, you can cut it. And I had to do that. I actually did a set on my toes and I did have to do that. Toes are tricky, but they're totally doable. Uh, let's go down here like this with your thumb. This is a learning curve to you guys, so patience is key. Um, yes, I did, did my toes, and like I said, it was a learning curve, um, but it was doable. I just had to learn how to get them fitted better onto like the smaller toes, which is four out of five toes, right? That big toe is one thing, but especially the pinky toe. I don't know if you guys have a pinky toe like I do. I think a lot of people have that really crazy, wacky pinky toe that's just like, what happened to you kind of toe? <laughs> um, so yeah, but I did it and they look good and they've been on for over a week now. And I think it says you can get, some people say you can get three weeks with it. That's if you can stand to not want to change it because I'm wanting to change mine every week right now specifically because I want to put a new set on because I love the designs. Okay, so I'm not sure if you can see right here. It is a little bit overlapped onto my skin. So I'm going to take this little guy. This is the guy, the little flat edge on this, not the pokey guy, this flat edge. And I'm going to put the flat edge towards my nail here and I'm going to go in here and push it down. And you can see that getting that little edge off there. I'm going to go in here now. I'm going to tell I should have done this first, but that's okay. All right, so now I'm just gonna come back. Like I said, I usually do the whole set, but for the sake of the video, because you guys don't wanna see that, um, I'm gonna come back and I'm going to get these filed. Now you wanna go in one direction. So I just start where the edges need to be fixed here. Sorry, you guys can't see this. And then I just file off any excess. Some of that stuff kind of gets stuck here underneath your nail and that can be annoying and then you'll pick at it or whatever and then end up pulling off the whole strip and getting frustrated and that's not what you want to do. Okay, pinky looks good. Ring finger here. All right, that looks good. This is a really pretty color. You can do so much with these, you guys. It's just unbelievable. It's endless possibilities of the sets you can put together and stuff. So. All right, guys, I hope that helped you um, get your new set of nails on if you were coming here looking for a video on how to do it. I didn't watch a video my first time, which was a big mistake. Uh, as you know, videos are, that helps a lot. So um, it does come, usually something comes, oh, it does come with this on the back to kind of give you a quick little glimpse, but it's always easier to watch somebody else. So that's why I wanted to make this video. So I do have a current open party uh, for Color Street. I am an independent stylist, so uh, I will put that link below. And I'll also put below my VIP Facebook page if you're interested in following along for all the fun stuff and all the deals and the new lines that are going to be coming out. So hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please give us a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe below and we will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.